Glycocalyx is a very thin one micron layer that is in the lining of the entire blood vascular system. <clears throat> and it's slippery. As a matter of fact, it's the same material that fish generate out of their cells. So when you pick up a fish, they slip through your hands. Well, it turns out that, and it doesn't matter what the unit is, but capillaries are four to five microns in diameter, five microns in diameter, and the glycocalyx layer is one micron. And so on a five micron capillary, and by the way, you have 68,000 miles of capillaries. And this is where, it's called profusion, this is where all the exchange takes place into the cell and out of the cell. So if, if you start with five microns and you have a micron on each side, uh, you only have three microns in the middle and the red blood cells, five microns. So it's got to fold up like a taco to go through and bring nutrients to the tissue. And the glycocalyx is the slippery stuff that allows it to do this. And so it turns out that through the last 20 years of research, uh, there was a camera, a high resolution camera that you could record on the base of the tongue and you could actually see capillary movements and capillary density and all kinds of parameters. And you could actually measure the thickness of this glycocalyx layer. And they did 80 different institutions looking at uh, 30 different conditions to try to correlate those conditions with those levels of healthy glycocalyx. And uh, so it's a really big deal, you know? It's like looking at blood pressure, it's like looking at uh, plaques, it's like looking at heart rate, it's like looking at your, all the things that we look at for health. Uh, this is another one of the uh, key indicators that, that will tell you what stage of health you're at. So how does this fit into dentistry? Teeth need blood, your gum tissue needs blood, all the organs in your whole body, including your mouth, and that's what ties in holistic dentistry and functional dentistry and integrated dentistry and all the terms that we have for looking at the whole body that the teeth just happen to be in or looking at the teeth that happen to be in the whole body. Well, that's what all these things represent. So it's looking at the total individual and all the factors that they have on each other. So glycocalyx is one of those things that has become very interesting in the uh, leaders in healthcare in the just in the last three to five years.